Well, hello there, YouTube. And welcome to a much warmer than what it's been. Uh, it's 36 degrees out here. But it's uh, Friday the 8th of March. And I think it's supposed to be mostly cloudy with drizzling most of the day. It's like uh, the day overall is 75% 70, chance of rain. That's kind of the way the weekend's going to go, too. But at the moment, everything's dry. It hasn't rained yet. But uh, anyway, it's Friday. Yay. Let's go bust her out. Back to the old war wagon today. Them pine trees sure looking good out there. I like that they're coming out here. They actually came out and planted some more seedlings out here. We thought they came out to cut some more stuff up. Nope. They're just clearing things out to give uh, the uh, fir trees and the pine trees some breathing room, I reckon. See how they did that? It was just mutt trees, but still those things, a lot of shade and the critters like it and feel safe, but I look at that as a as a tinder box come this summer. Kind of sketchy. Oh no! <laughs> well, it's 10 degrees warmer once again and sunny here in Vanchulo. It is nice. Yeah, no. Much warmer. Much warmer. No sign of rain. That doesn't mean it's not coming. Yeah, it's coming. I didn't pay attention to Vancouver's weather. It's good now. I'm happy mm -hmm. about that. Yeah, we'll take that. But the good thing, Mama, it is Friday. Yes, it is. Just go on in there and bust her out and get a weekend going. All right. All right. You have a wonderful day. You too, hubby. All right. Love. You see you. Bye. I love you. <laughs> bye bye now. Bye. Well, hello there, SV Beeps. This is a uh, 2024 Spider RT Limited, and for its first service, um, lovely gal owns it. I assume she's lovely. I haven't met her yet. I waved at her at the service counter when they're telling me your first service is here. <laughs> but, man, it's like 54 degrees out here right now. Holy moly. Almost wore my fingerless gloves. <laughs> Everything's absolutely perfect on it. As it should be. No codes, no updates. It's, everything's all current. Current and happy. Well, this is going to be a, a bit of an abbreviated ride. Because... There, there is a vehicle that's going to steal the show today. <laughs> Hopefully I can get it done in time. If we can take it for a rip. Because I've never built one of these before and it's completely different. Of course I'm telling you this, but I'm sure I'll, in the title and thumbnail, that's what uh, will be used. I love the puppies. They're getting some treats. I can't stand that dash being in that mode. I'll ask her <laughs> if, if she likes some. I mean, some people have it on and like it. It's supposed to be so you can see it better in the sunlight. To me, that thing, I mean, the, the black gauge, I can see it all the time no matter what. So, um, I always leave it in dark mode. It's in auto mode now because it's dark when I'm in the shop. It goes into light mode when I'm outside. Look at all the snow up in the mountains over there. That won't last long. Not in this beautiful weather. Man, it'll be a 70 degree weekend next weekend. The last time I looked, it looked like 69 for Saturday and 70 for Sunday next weekend, not this weekend. The predicted weather for this weekend is uh, rain, unfortunately. But today is supposed to be a 75% chance of rain, and look how it turned out. If it does this tomorrow, I'm going to be a motorcycle riding fool. Mama's itching to get out herself. It's the last ride or a couple rides or whatever. 
wet by myself. Weather is kind of iffy and a little cool, and you know, just sometimes you, you have other things on your mind, and it's just not worth spending. Oh, look, they took this tree down yesterday. Look at that. Look how horrible that looks with the trees gone. That just looks nasty out there. And that tree, looking at that thing, that thing's got to be well over 100 years old. What a crying shame. Tree lived all them years and that's how it ends for it. There's old Tim up there. I think he's heading, heading to get himself some chow. I don't know why he doesn't roll that R9T off of there. He leaves it here most of the time. But anyway, thanks for coming along on a deep Marsala a uh, chrome edition although it's not really chrome it's kind of a satin color it's i think the last chromes were what 22 or something they actually had chrome on them but no matter it's still cool but uh anyway we'll be back here with something really cool so i might as well show you this thing now because i doubt i'll get it done and go for a test ride before the end of the day i wonder what that fits about an R1300 GS Trophy. Everything about this thing is different. I mean, everything. Assembly wise, I mean, everything's different. It's, it's amazing. There's your electrical connectors for your for your fancy saddlebags. I can get it to come off. Nope. Yeah, maybe. <laughs> oh, there we go. Isn't that cool? But anyway, before I run out of time here, even the battery, how it goes in is it's pretty crazy. <laughs> it's in a different place. There's no uh, there's no transmission at the back anymore. They're underneath it. They're 100% water cooled. The fins, are, I think, are are just for uh, nostalgia. They're not cooling anything. Before they were water cooled heads, you know, like twin cooled Harleys and stuff like that. The SA, the strut, is adjustable on the front as well as the rear. This one's got all the fancy um, dynamic cruise control. See the mirrors, you got blind spot indicators show up on the mirrors. Anyway, this is what I was holding out for. See, I still got packing stuff that's wrapped around everything. All that's gotta come off. But I think I'm gonna run out of time before the, before the day's over. Look at the brake pedal on that thing. Everything's different. Look at the center stand. The center stand, when it's closed, you have it up, folds out of the way, the foot's out of the way. Look at this massive side stand now. Isn't that wicked? I guess that don't even need to be down. It's just gonna come up. Different calipers. They're Brembo's, it says BMW, but if you look inside there, it says Brembo. But that, those are all new. The rear it's got a beefy old caliper on the back. All this stuff has to be had to be in, assembled. There's this little tray, and then underneath the little boot in here, you got a little charge port and a little hole for it to escape out, so you can charge your phone in here. That's cool. It comes with risers, two different risers to, to bring the bars up. I think it's two sets. They're in a bag. I think it, it, an instruction saying two different sets, but everything's different. Absolutely everything. That's one bad boy. Anyway, thought I'd come in and talk to you about it now because, like I say, don't think I'm going to make it for the end of the day before I get booted out. That is wicked cool. The last second. <laughs> the very last second.
key because I walked away. All right, let's roll. This thing's got a really touchy clutch. Oh, got to hit the sensor here. Man, oh, didn't even grab gloves. Oh well. Look at this. All right, oh. That's such a different sound, it's crazy. Oh, that shift assist pro is, ooh, that's like an S1000. Oh man, oh, all the way to first, it's so smooth. Ooh, she's spunky. Quick little tar parking lot test ride thing here. I still got tools to put away, all kinds of good stuff. Oh, this is nice. What a totally different sound and feeling. Mm. <laughs> I don't know. The, I don't. There's not a quick thing to the suspension, so I don't. I, studied how you get all that done so don't know you can see the dynamic cruise control thing it's not active but as soon as I switched the switch on it showed up see it very cool <laughs> wow she just feels so lively at all too. Heck the 1200s and 1250s were spunky enough. What a oh rookie. This uh <laughs> that guy must have seen me stall this thing and went, well I'll give the poor newbie rider a, a break. I'll 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 wait for him to get out. <laughs> The adjustment for the levers is very unique where it's sitting too. It's just a little lever sitting out right in that little piece there. She's got different kind of nuances than what the old one did. Older ones. I guess you can call them old now because uh, this is literally the GS reinvented. Yes, good old boys taking himself a ride on his, in a brand new Camry. Thinking to himself, I just may have to take one of these home. Oh boy. Got traffic going every which way. It's so different and incredibly cool. Oh man. We got some training modules that we need to take on these things and I haven't taken them yet. I think I got until the end of next month or something. Along with BRP it all kicks off at once it seems like. Let's just do a quick walk around here. Holy moly. Yes, sir. Welcome to the new age of the GS. How cool is that? Wow. It's like Harley's, the lights are in the in the turn signals now. There's a Honda and some other people doing the same thing too. Oh boy. I really like that. Oh man. <laughs> a whole new set of sounds.
Not that I use, whoops, that was my fault. Not that I use it hardly ever, but it is. It is nice, especially on trips. You, you know, you get yourself comfortable and you just shift without the clutch and stuff. But generally, I don't, I don't mess with it much because I've ride so many different motorcycles. And, uh, I mean, it's not that big of a deal to me. All that being said, this thing works absolutely as smooth as silk. It's really nice. Actually, when you manually shift, it's, it's more clunky. <laughs> it's way more smooth. <laughs> uh, you know, it's kind of the way the K1600s are. If you manually shift them, they're really bang. You know, they, they clunk. Not a fault, they just do. Oh, yeah. That feels really strong. That's all my, how far I want to be to a, uh, from a car and whatnot. The dynamic cruise control, just like your car. Wow. How's that for 11th hour test ride? We got her in there though. Then there's no gas downstairs and the first can I checked upstairs was empty. And um, <laughs> found one that had some fuel in it. One of the big carrier things, you know. But uh, anyway, turn that cruise off so somebody doesn't weird out. It's Hill Assist still. SOS, which was only available in Europe before. Now we have it. Oh, look, the ever so slight. Look, you can see the blind spot indicators where they light up. Anyway, I'm going to roll with that. Well, hello there, you two. I'm going to attempt, attempt a after work ride or after work goodbye. The after work rides are coming pretty soon. Yes, they are. We've been talking about that. That's why I just rolled off the tongue. But it's kind of cloudy out here. We're only about 10 minutes past sunset. But uh, we got one in. Yes. That, can't believe I got that BMW done in time. I didn't think I was going to be able to take it for a test ride. Now I set the dead gum vlog up that way, you know. I said, like, man, I'm going to go explain this. I can't write it. <laughs> but I got her in. That's that was nice. cool. Got a nice 23RT Limited and a 24R1300 GS. That's cool. But on that, we're going to start a weekend. Oh, right. Well, thank you guys so much for watching. We really do appreciate it. We will talk to you. Same. No, I totally goofed it up and I'm all messed same up. Same place, same time. Same smoke time, same <laughs> smoke place. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And you guys have an amazing Saturday or Sunday. Thank you. All right. We'll see you tomorrow. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye. <laughs>